How's your life been? Oh, uh, it's very, very, I have almost no complaints. It's like, I would say, you know, I feel very, very fortunate to have the life I have. Yeah. I think, you know, if there are like parallel universes, this is the only one where, this is the one I want to be in. I don't think there's one better, for sure. This is what I always say. If you think you can beat this life, spin the wheel. Yeah. What are the odds? I am not spinning the wheel. You actually did the one American dream better than Slip and Falls, which is movie star. <laughs> <laughs> like legitimately like the, other than like yeah i go to america i i fake hurt my neck i get a million point eight to do nothing to do nothing disability yeah. vicodin and this is this yes. is the only one better it's a bit more money for a bit less work <laughs> <laughs> i love that he's named people know i love money so thank you for bringing up money well i've heard the mcu you don't get paid that much up front whatever they the fixed that Oh, they did. Okay. Okay. Listen, I'm not going to sure, talk yeah. about money, but it, I just feel generally very, very, very fortunate that, you know, I mean, I would do this stuff for free when I did stand up. Most of the times I did it for free. So to be able to do this stuff for not free, it's, and I understand there's a window, you know, especially um, people who come from comedy, I find there's a window, it can turn real quick. You know, that, that thing shuts down. So. Meaning the window from stand-up to movies? There's a window sometimes with comedy people where they're like the hot thing for a little bit and they get their shot. You know, I don't want to name anybody. But for a couple of years, they do a few movies and then it goes away and nobody wants them anymore. So I'm very aware of that, of the window shutting. I would argue that the type of movie, the big sick being your your opportunity and your shot and you guys got nominated for an academy award right yes must have been incredibly fun yeah i mean truly truly unbelievable yeah um yeah it was it was great could again honestly when we were going through that you know that was the first movie we did it was very low budget it got good reviews it was making money got nominated for an oscar and the entire time people would be like just so you know it's never going to be like this i thought of that this morning because i was like I was thinking about was three years ago. Uh, no, this was COVID. It's no, four or five, right? Six, six years ago. Six, yeah. Okay, right there. I remember me and Dave are doing half bake. We're twenty three. People kept going. We write the movie in March. We're shooting in July, and people go. By the way, this doesn't happen every time. <laughs> and in our heads, me and Dave are going. Not for you, it doesn't. Yeah, well, then you but, did Chappelle show, and you're like, they right. were wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that's six years later. Yeah. That's the difference. Seven years later. So, right. So that seven years, it doesn't feel like a long time, but when you're in it- It does. It feels like a very long it time. It feels like a long time since the big six. And because you're, you're living every day, whereas to me, you're just flying past my windshield. I'm just that's like, oh, right. uh, Kamal and Emily did a movie. Cool. Great. Yeah, Good for them. Totally. Um. So- you you do understand now that it doesn't happen every time that it was a fucking f not freak thing that you're like it you're you were you we're all lucky we're all but it certainly was uh the result was a freak thing and it doesn't happen and i don't know if it would happen now i think that movie a movie of that size becoming like doing well at the box office um I think that was the last year that happened because it happened to us. It happened to Lady Bird. Get Out was a phenomenon, so it's it's, mm -hmm. it's in its own category. But but Lady Bird and us, you know, that was the last time that movies of that size made actual like good money at the box office. It's gone away now. Now you would say Big Sick and Lady Bird, which are you know I love Lady Bird. People would say those are like streaming movies. They right. wouldn't call them theatrical movies. So and you know and it it hasn't. I, I felt like you know for years up until the Big Sick. You know, I was sort of like the one of the cool comedy people, you know, where I did a lot of stuff. I was in Silicon Valley. That was great. And that was pretty big. But, totally forgot about it. Yeah, it was great. You know what's hilarious? You run it for five, all, every episode for five years? Six years, yeah. Totally forgot. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that's what happens. But, but I'm very proud of that show being on it. I was on a show called Portlandia, you know, that ran for a few years. And so I felt like I was on this thing of like, oh, every, because I'm this cool comedy person, my world is ultimately fairly small. But within, within that world, I sort of felt like everything I was doing was well received. And then suddenly after the big sick, you go into a bigger pond. It's a lot more people and the stakes are higher and different. And I would say- When you say people, what do you mean? Audience? Like bigger it's audience. a bigger- So the thing I liken it to is- uh, elections 
right? So you ran, you you won city council. Yeah. Yeah. Then you won uh, state senate. Yeah. Then I'd say Big Sick was like, how you got, you were elected member of the House of Representatives. Yeah. And then you're kind of running for Senate slash president. Yeah. Running for Senate while also trying to dip my toe into the presidency. And you realize like, oh, this is a different world. Uh, there's a lot more voices. There's just a lot more. So, and so since then, I would say since the Big Sick, my relationship with my career and um, success or whatever it is, again, very, very, very grateful, very lucky, very, very happy to be what I'm doing. But it's different. It's, 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 it's a lot more complicated since then. Okay, with that in mind, because I think it's a really interesting point that people don't talk about very much. What kind of person do you think it favors? Like, so do, do you get to this big, you're running for president, you're, the, you're on the poster, your which is like a different thing yeah like once you i i noticed it with dave once you're on a poster <laughs> it's different it yeah. does something to people yeah when they see you so once you're on the poster you understand how fucking appealing the rock is yeah you know what i mean where you're like boy oh boy that guy's got a lot of fucking talent and virtues yeah or kevin hart or yeah vince vaughn or like vince in the 90s 2000s or or like you just see that it's you're running you're trying to get you're trying to appeal to literally billions of people yeah i remember when the big sick opened we opened against a transformers movie and you're like oh this is like a different level from doing a comedy in the back of a comic book store you know that you're up against fake robots you literally have to be as appealing yeah. as a fake car robot yeah, that you've known your entire life. Yeah, 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 yeah. To say nothing of the relationship. Right, that, that like everyone on the planet knows. Yeah. And this time he has a sword. Fuck. I remember the poster for it. was It was me and, you know, Zoe and uh, Ray Romano and Holly Hunter and all these people on our poster, uh, Nupam, and, and, uh, and that was just very simple. Yeah. Optimus Prime standing on the moon with a big fucking sword. And I was yeah. like, that is tough. That is and tough. And by the to way, they're charging the same for each. It's the same money for each. <laughs> Popcorn's the same. Time investment is about the same. I bet both were, you know, slightly under two hours, around two hours. It's the same. But I was very, very, you know, excited because that opening weekend, they switched transformers. The the dome here, you know, it used to be Arc Light Dome was like the big movie theater in LA. They put the big sick in there and took Transformers out. That was very exciting. Um, for me, I would say me going from doing comedy shows to being able to do movies, which I feel very lucky about, the biggest adjustment, the adjustment that took me way too long to make, and it's weird I'm here talking about it, you got to close up your life a little bit. You got to start like getting private. You got to have a line between the personal and the public. Um, the persona, whatever it is, you just got to like tighten shit up a little bit. And as a comedian, I was always really out there, you know, on Twitter, social media, talking about myself, like being really, really public because that's what you have to do to sell seats on the road. It took me too long to realize, oh, now it's different and I have to really protect myself and my private life. And it took me too long to figure that out. Is it because there's more eyeballs looking at you? There's more corporate interests that can get fucked up if you say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. That's or, right. And it's people, the corporate interest or both. And it's also people's perception of you. People's perception of someone, you know, what people think of, name a famous person, let's say. John let, Cena. Let's say John Cena who's a lovely guy, I don't know him that well, but he's lovely. But people have a certain perception of John Cena. There's no way that the reality of John Cena matches up with who you yes. think he is or who you want him to be. And I find now when people see a side of you that they don't expect, they're disappointed, they're upset, you don't fit their little perception of it. I think the parasocial relationship thing that people have with famous people, and John Cena has a much, has a much you know, much bigger audience than I do. He's yeah. much more famous, much more successful. He's massive and he's been for a it long time. It is like a very, I think he would probably welcome that. He seems very, the thing I was saying about The Rock, he just seems like he doesn't have any, he's kind of shaved off his like jagged edges and he's like very presentable. I think you have to. Uh, yeah. I think that's the healthy thing to do. 
publicly. There's no yes. reason for you to be, especially on the level of Iraq or John Cena, you, there's no reason for you to really show people really who you are because they don't they don't deserve it. I mean, why should why should people get to know exactly who you are as a human being? That's yeah. not what you're doing, you know? And what The Rock has figured out really well is how to sell a version of himself that is marketable. And in person, then he protects his own personal life. Yeah. I think you have to do that. And when he does show you his personal life, it's littered with product placement. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.